Okay, here we've got an example of a scene where we're lighting it with different regions of different HGRI maps and kind of blending them all together with the help of composites. So what I'll do is I'll kind of take you through how this project has been set up so you can understand how to do this. So I will hide all of the lights apart from this first one, this first composite light. And let's have a look at how we've created this. So on the top of all of this is basically a light that is colouring um, using the colour blend mode. It's filling the canvas and uh, its content type is set to colour. Uh, so we'll hide that because it's just colouring. And then we'll hide this composite light here and we'll just see what's at the base. So there's basically this HDRI map of this airport uh, that is surrounding the scene. And we are using a composite light using the blend mode multiply. And then that is cutting out a whole load of the HDR and letting some through. And that's because if we edit this composite, we can see there's three soft round lights in here that we have placed. And where those are have some brightness, that brightness is multiplied with the HDRI map underneath so you can see them and then where it's dark then it is uh, masking the HDR or basically turning it multiplying it by black uh, because it's a multiply blend mode so here we've got basically adjustable lights that are acting like a high dynamic range mask over the top of this background here so that means that we just get the regions of the HDRI map that we want so we can kind of get some kind of nice reflections happening here. And then we were a bit dramatic about it and we did uh, a layer here which is filling and just colouring the whole lot. And I can adjust uh, how much it's colouring by using the brightness slider for that light and changing how much it colours. So that's that side. So if we go back, so that's this base layer. I'll hide that and then let's look at the next composite light. This one here. So we're using the same idea here. So if I go and I edit this, we've actually just got one round light. So we've got our HDR here. We then have got a single round light and we're using the blend mode multiply but we've turned on the mask feature. So if I turn that off, this only affects where the light is. If I use mask, any area outside of this round light uh, will also be counted as black. So then you can use a single light, a single repositionable light uh, to mask using the multiply blend mode. So that's created as the lighting that's coming from this side, from this HDR. And then again, we use a light that fills a canvas with flat color and blend mode color. And depending on how bright, again, you make that depends on how much it colors it. And again, we were very dramatic for the purposes of this demo. And if I go back, we now have added this light to this one. If I was to look at over blend mode to see it on its own, you can see that and then if I do uh, add it's adding on top of the other one then you get both sides from the different HDRs being mixed together and then we put on just a few little additional lights in the lighting design just to get some pings uh, of light on the car so that's how we structured that project using uh, the composites the composites were essential because they let us isolate an effect to just affect one HDRI map we could then use the composite to blend some different individual lights together to create one layer that we would then use to multiply over this background and then that creates the, the mask. And then within this composite we could colour just this content uh, without touching the rest of the lighting design. Okay, so what we'll do now is we will recreate uh, some very similar lighting using the same effects um, so you can see the step-by-step -step process of how we would accomplish that. 
So we will make a picture background light and we will load a HDR map onto there. We'll start with this airport image. Now the first thing you would do is rotate this till you found some kind of pleasing reflection. So I know that I'm going to use this HDRI map down this side of the car so I can see some nice reflections going on here. So I'm quite happy uh, that I adjusted the longitude to get that kind of effect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a light just to get things started to denote the region where I want this um, effect to be and click on the view to get that and then I'm going to select both of these right click and merge them to a composite then I'm going to edit that composite and then I'm going to right click and merge this light to a composite and then I'm going to change the blend mode for this light here to multiply so now this light is being multiplied with the picture background so where there are black regions on this light you won't see the HDR so now this light is acting as a, a really nice mask through uh, to the HDR so if I edit this I can now start to adjust the properties of this light to get the effect that I want And I will actually just start to move it by hand a little, just to kind of see how the effect changes things up here. So you don't always need to use light paint to position lights. Sometimes it's quite nice to just move lights on the canvas just to start orbiting and see what happens. Now if I make this light brighter, because its values are being multiplied by the base HDRI map because it's a multiplied blend mode then it will brighten that region of the HDR which is really good okay so I'm happy with that I just want to get a bit of lighting going on kind of catching the edges of the surface here so I'm going to make another light within this comp and then I'm going to click in this region of the car and get that moved scale that a bit okay so I'm happy with that let's go back up a level to this light and then you can change the brightness of this light itself and that will further boost or darken the uh, blend effect of this light with the background Right, so I'm happy with that. So I'm going to create a gradient background, change the content type to flat, change the color to pink, change the blend mode to color, turn it up, and then I am coloring the result of this light list. So that's that side of the car done. So let's go up a level create a new picture background grab the field sunset HDR set the blend mode to over so we totally cover what's underneath and then change the longitude great and then I'm going to create a light and click in this region scale that up and I'm going to merge select the round light and that picture background and merge those to a composite I'm then going to edit that and change the blend mode of this round light to multiply and because it's a light on its own and I want it to 
mask the whole, you know, where this dark area is or where this area is that's not been affected. I want to be dark, so I'm going to turn on mask, which means everything outside of that light on that layer will count as being black. And then now I've got a nice movable, scalable mask on this here. And I'll scale that up, change the fall off, and I'll actually brighten the base HDR here. So I quite like what's showing through there. If we want to see it on its own, we can just hide that base composite light. We can see only the effect of this, which I'm happy with. So we'll edit this composite. We'll create a gradient background, but change the content to flat. Change the color to this blue. Change the blend mode to color. And turn that up. And then go back and we've got our basic lighting sorted with one HDRI map coloured blue and one region here and a different region of this map over here coloured magenta. And then I can just add some lights just to create some glinty highlights. There we go. So that's just an example of how you can use composites to define a region of a HDRI map that you want and blend different regions of different maps using uh, lighting to act as the, the masks on those.